I try and like distract myself for for a large period of time, and then say when I go on my walk for 10 minutes, then I'll start focusing on footy, and then I'll distract myself again. In the leadership group now, an important player, vice captain Matt Lobie for first goal. No worries at all. Tiny little structure changes aren't going to be the difference here. All right. Contested ball, tackle. Let's make sure we're getting it done. Points, 89 to 49. It was a pretty tough game of footy yeah, too. Boys. Both teams a little bit of rust there. Yeah, well, my pre-game routine probably starts not before the game. So um, Sunday game, Saturday night, seven o'clock at Mark and Tina's for a big lasagna. Um, been doing that for as long as I can remember and it's a good way to carve up and a good way just to chill out, not for a game and um, just talk some nonsense with the boys as well. So you're up in the mode, good or what? Nope. Surely you can go unchanged for the whole week. Yeah. Loads of three quarters for you. Don't know if I can do that. Well it started <laughs> like if you actually lived at the house but there's been a few boys jump on. So Jacko, Youngie and Chatty just rock up every every weekend, so somehow they've got a gig as well. I guess everyone likes a bit of a routine, so I might have just started it again. Depending on how nervous I'm feeling, I'm sort of just chilling out. During, the da during that morning. And I usually take him for a walk as well um, after I've had lunch, so it's just something to do and a way to clear the head a bit if I'm nervous. Usually I try and get all my prep done. Um, say we're playing on a Sunday today, I try and get it all done by Friday. So all the technical stuff of um, what I've got to do on the weekend, I try and get it done by the end of Friday. Then when we get to the game, there might be a few things that have changed, like conditions or um, matchups that we'll talk about. It's really just going over the stuff we've already talked about during the week. Right. I'll mention it to him. Yeah, so four contests. Yeah. yeah. Positive. Yeah. Let's just have a chat, eh? Yeah. And we'll, we'll shut them down. Yeah, we'll talk yep. to a few of the Jonah yep. and um, the other boys. Yeah. Get it done. Oh, we'll just see how, the, how it pans out to start. Yeah. It's like a good footy team right from the start. Yeah, right. So we do the things that we want to do right at the start. He's deep forward, though. Yeah. Probably a bit harder. Call, your call, Bokey. If you feel it around stoppage, get it done. We've seen more of that, haven't we, as the uh, season went on last year. We've seen Lobie push forward. It was just outstanding in the way that he pushed hard from the centre. I think whenever you play for this club at the moment, as soon as you get going, like, we've, we've got a win. So I'm feeling like the boys are getting up now and it's feeling pretty normal now. Any questions on what we're after today? All right. Consistent, ruthless play. Give us this. Give us game. So here we go. The first quarter for MG Trading. Keep your shed well stocked and your back pocket full for all your dairy farming needs. Get down to your local store today. We're in the middle and Ollie Wines. There he is, crashing his way through. Could have won a free kick. To Ebert in the centre right circle line. now. Stewart on the end of it. Kicks yeah. up towards half forward. The Wiley veteran Kane Corn State. The Robbie Gray runs under it. The point of that fourth. Oh, yes! It was a chance to the goal in it. It's a goal, terrific play put in. If that was the play of the day, they had about 14 possessions in a row. It ended up with Robbie Gray, goal number four on the board, 4 one What What'd you make of the first half, Lopes? Good start, I thought. Um, I reckon we sort of dropped off our pressure that, that second quarter. Uh, and they were able to get a few shots on goal, so we've got to, we've got to ramp our pressure up. Screw kick, mongrel punt. Oh, gee, with courage, couldn't get the mark. Sheed is there, Moore as well, could have given it back to Archie, but he couldn't. More to Ollie Wines, now it's with Archie, in traffic, good boy Archie. Moore will have a shot at goal, get oh, no. in you, good That's thing! That's a nine-pointer, I reckon. Oh, it's like pulling teeth, it's a nine-pointer! Such an important player for Port Adelaide is Matthew Lobe. going to get a fair bit of help this year from Paddy Ryder, which makes them so dangerous here, of course. A little bit of light rain starting to fall, it was a beautiful afternoon, but the cool change has come. And there goes the siren. In 
what has been a great game of footy here at Cooper's Stadium. It's Port Adelaide getting the chocolates in their opening NAB Challenge match for 2015. Yeah, a bit sore to be honest. Um, it's good to have a great though against opposition and I think the last quarter really heated up. The boys are throwing stuff at me already. Heated up the last quarter so um, that was good to sort of get that intensity and um, match like conditions. I think you'd get, you're crashing a little bit harder because it's someone else, it's not your teammates like at training so definitely for me it's like that repeated wrestling and, and hitting that um, you can't get as much at training so I think we'll be better for the run. We go back to the club now because there's no ice baths here so we'll go back to the club and do 10 minutes in the ice baths. Um, we're having our protein drinks, we've got some burritos that we get from Zambrero so we knock them back. Um, they have a bit of a stretch and then it's home time and boys try and get a good night's sleep. Um, some boys battle to get to sleep till late because it's a later game but um, give it a shot.